And if that shit right there don't work, if that shit right there don't work, then you get a situation like this to where I need to destroy. If you don't give me, if I don't get my revenge, if you don't want to see the baby, now I'm going to try to expose you. He don't never see his baby. All my baby crying. He told my baby, she'll be calling you like, you don't want to see the baby. She'll be calling you. But as soon as you show interest, she don't pick up the phone. Or she can't have that phone. It's all revenge. I need you to feel how bad I felt. Instead of a bitch going to find someone who would treat her like she wants to be treated, she's going to take, accept all those punches, all those punches. She thinks that she's God. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're going to need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612-567-3263. Get your shit together, big home. You hear me? It's our time now. I need to talk to you motherfuckers. Lord, I need to talk to y'all. Let me get my beard straight for this one. She, Nigga, we finna holler. We finna holler. I had to step back for a minute, man, because, you know, I wasn't, I'm looking at all this bullshit-ass news, and I'm like, man, I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not doing it. I'm not hollering at them like that. I'm not, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? We finna talk about this, though. Um, let, let's let it be known. Let, let's go ahead and let it be known. I want, I want to go ahead and put y'all in my, my mindset. So, this is y'all father, this is y'all father of the year. This is how he talked to his daughter about blacking her eyes and knocking her teeth out of her mouth. This is what he does. See, I got a problem with that. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I'm A.O. Conseco, fearlessly of A.O. Nation, and this is... Um, uh, for the t-shirts, you do need to send your $25 to a new PayPal. The PayPal that you're going to send the $25 to is going to be paypal.me forward slash the letter R, the letter U, Serious 10. It's on the screen right now so you can see it. Make sure you get your um, Are You Serious t-shirts. If you don't have them, then you are not in AO Nation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Pure point blank. I'm not going to keep telling you to get your shit together, bit home. Or, or bitch, get your shit together. Ho. Um, Walk down this road with me for a second if you have time. Because the time um, of reckoning is now here. The time, I've told y'all that niggas are not going to, I, I've been doing this a, a while ago. Niggas are not going to continue to allow you nothing ass bitches to control them through that child. A child isn't a fucking chess piece. But you know that you didn't have that child because you wanted children. Or not solely because you wanted children. You had that child so that you wouldn't have to be alone. Because you already had your self-esteem so fucking low that you knew a nigga wasn't going to stay with you. When you saw the type of bitches that were getting cheated on, you know what I'm saying? Not just in, 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 you know, in, in the celebrity world and, in, in, you know what I'm saying, the shit you see on TV. But you see the bitches around you. This is how we're going to do it now. I just put out a whole fucking app on you fuck niggas. I'm the first fucking blogger to have a real fucking app. Go to your Google Play Store and hit AO Nation JMA. Download that shit. At the end of this month, we're going to start doing interviews. And we're going to talk about all the hating shit that you got going on in your city. You know what I'm saying? Also, y'all motherfuckers know y'all get the All You See Your Shirts $25 to the fucking PayPal. You know you need to donate to the PayPal so we can keep on fucking up these hating ass niggas. Because the shit getting out of control now. 
Whatever else you need to do, whatever you want to advertise, you a rapper, uh, a company, you trying to get this shit out there and broadcast on the show, you know what the fuck it is. You need to have a $100 budget and do not contact me until you ready to make a fucking transaction. If I hit you up or you hit me up and I hit you back and we don't get no transaction, do not tell me I'm going to get back with you, man. Appreciate the love. Ain't no love, my nigga. It's over with. I'm blocking your number. It's dead. Get your shit together, bit home. Being cheated on. Bad bitches, that's way finer than you. You know what I'm saying? They're being cheated on. When you saw that you knew that you weren't going to be up to, you know what I'm saying, par to actually have a man that was going to be faithful to you. So what you succumbed to was the talk of um, the nothing ass hoes around you. You knew that they were covering up for the fact that they were insecure in their uh, relationship. Uh, monogamy was not, not going to be, you know what I'm saying, a, a option for niggas because after the first, I'll give, I, I don't, two weeks is, you know what I'm saying, my limit. I, I, I get sick of a bitch after two weeks. But after the first two months, a nigga has done everything with you that can be done. You know what I'm saying, there's nothing, you know what I'm saying, like this hoe right here. Boosted baby mama, I'm looking at this whole lips, and I, I, this hoe can suck dick. I know she can suck dick. Look at this whole lips. But after that, you lay in the bed with the hoe, and she starts to talk. And it's like, what in the fuck am I doing here? It's been times, my nigga, you and me, it's been times where we've been, you know, you didn't fuck the hoe, whatever like that. And afterward, the hoe do something that lets you know that she's off. Whether it be the way that she hug you, the way that she snuggle up her head to your chest, you know what I'm saying? The way that she kiss you in just a weird ass fucking spot. Like, the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? It lets you know that she was fucking retarded. So you knew right then she was retarded. But maybe it was because you were down bad and, and you know, that this what it go. You were down bad and you had to continue fucking with her, you know what I'm saying? So that retarded shit, it was in your favor in the beginning because she can give you money here. You know what I'm saying? You drive a car, you stay in the house for free, whatever like that. But after a while... That retarded shit started to, you know what I'm saying? Because all she was doing that whole time was getting to understand your weaknesses, not your strengths, your weaknesses. She only wants to know what your strengths are so that she can, um, so that she can downplay them. Um, if you have a, um, like me, you know what I'm saying? I talk like this. So a bitch would say, you think you so smart, I wish you turn that shit into some money. You so smart, but I ain't go to Daphne, but uh, I, I graduated. I, I should have put that shit out, too. Uh, if you so smart, you know everything. You just know you ain't never wrong, huh? huh? But, uh, you should use that to get a job. Why don't you go to college and get a degree? The only thing that they want to know your strengths for, the only reason is so that they can downplay them and throw them in your face and mess them with your shortcomings. So they're gonna put like if you're if you're straight, you was a football player, or whatever like that. Uh, you, you think you're so strong? Why don't you make that? Into, why don't you get into the league then? You so fast? Why don't you get the scholarship? You you so persistent? You 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 just so you so strong? You so mentally strong? Why the fuck you couldn't keep a job? They don't want to know your strengths so they can commend you on them. Maybe in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Maybe in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like even you know. Uh, you look so good. I, you just, you just want to be fucking seen. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, you look so good. Ah, oh, know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, you look that, that shit right there. That, that shaking of the head and moving the arms. This move right here would get a bitch mushed. This shit right here will have a bitch shit loose. I'm talking like bitch, cause a bitch do this shit the wrong time. Like, but she she's planning on that because she has things in her back pocket: pregnancy, child support, and the police. Hold one second. Pregnancy, child support, and the police. No matter if you bought, I'm not, don't let me get too deep. I don't want to go, because this, this I just want to savor this moment. As I said, um, it was a secret in Baton Rouge that uh, Boosie got a flipper pregnant. So let's, let's let's handle that first. He got a, he so that that was that's that's what he did wrong here. He didn't do shit else wrong. There was nothing else done wrong here. 
What he did wrong was getting a flipper pregnant. In your city, there's a, a hoe that everybody knows she a hoe, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that bitch. She probably musty and shit like that. She might smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? But she's a bitch that, you know what I'm saying? She's publicly been fucked by multiple people. Publicly. You know what I'm saying? You know she's about that. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it takes to get her there, she's a hoe. Fuck that shit. And um, that was his mistake. Because if a nigga gets a flipper pregnant, then, you know what I'm saying, you laugh at him. This wasn't known worldwide, and this is another thing that local rappers, this is what you have on your side. Um, some of the shit that happened in your hometown, the world won't know. You know what I'm saying? And this is another reason why the, your hometown won't respect you that much, because they know all of your flaws. Uh, every time you do something good, they will mesh that good thing the same way a bitch does. They'll mesh that with what you did, your shortcoming. And then, you know what I'm saying, so your, your good and your bad will even out to make you an average nigga. That's hood math. And when you're dealing with stature and, and, you know, hood politics and shit like that, trying to see where you stand in the hood with, with your hood celebrity and shit like that. But let's let's get down to the point here. Let's get down to the fucking point. This, this lady right here, she never had a chance. She never stood a chance. Her grandma was a thief. Her mother was a thief. She's a fucking thief. And without Boosie's help, the daughter is going to be a fucking thief. Sweetheart, take out the picture. I'm talking to you now. Sweetheart, you may not be a bitch. You may be a black woman or a woman in general. If it's not you, then you know a bitch that took the reins from her grandma, her mother, she is now what they were. Whether it was she was a hoe, thief, uh, a, a scammer. Whatever they were, they passed down that trait. Even, even, even if they did fucking... I just stuttered right there. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, even if she did voodoo. You know what I'm saying? They passed that shit down. And it's crazy that negative things are passed down so easily. Where... Positive things like, you know, getting into the military with, with, with us as black people. Positive things like getting into the military, you know, being a police officer or being a college alumni. You know what I'm saying? In a sorority or something like that for females. It's extremely rare. That's harder to pass down. But negative shit, she a thief, she a thief, she a thief, she gonna be a thief. If Boosie wouldn't have become Boosie, then that's what it was. Um, let, Let's look at something else um, with this bitch right here. Let, let's listen to a little bit. And this is why, dog. See, that shit just changed my whole mood. This is why. And you know, more folks be like, oh, this nigga too hard on a bitch and shit like that, whatever like that. But it's not that I'm hard on a bitch. It's just like a bitch who knows who she is, whatever like that, and she has something going for herself, or she doesn't even have nothing going for herself. She just knows what her standards are. She's tired of the bullshit of the average nigga, what they give her. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Um. After being with that many niggas, whatever, like, they like, man, you know what? I'm going to keep getting the same thing if I keep on doing the same thing. So, let me back the fuck up and live by the three S's. Solitude, sobriety, and celibacy. So, I can find out what the fuck my problem is. Because our issue, the reason why the fuck you keep failing at everything you fuck, I don't give a fuck what you telling folks on the outside. The reason why you keep failing and you know that you're failing because you're not happy yet. If you're not happy, you're fucking failing. I'm not talking about the, the happy kiss faces that you post on your social media. I mean, you actually being happy to wake up. The reason why you're not fucking happy is because there are too many things around you that are affecting you to where you cannot get to yourself. You got to get through all that layer of your baby daddy. You got to get through the layer of your baby mama, the layer of your mama, your sister. You know what I'm saying? The nigga you like, the bitch you like, whatever like that. The, the boss at your job, the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Your child, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, car payments, house payments. You, know, you can't get to yourself. You cannot get, or, or they call payments. They, you know what I'm saying, rent, whatever like that. You can't get to see what the fuck is going on with you to know not... I don't give a fuck about signing cliche. 
until you understand what you are, you could be out this whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, like going to the doctor. That you work like this. Going to the doctor, the doctor can tell you, all right, you need to eat oranges, pears, and plums. Somebody else go, all right, you need to eat carrots, celery, and fucking grapes. You know what I'm saying? You need to just eat all red meat. You need to drink red wine. Everybody's shit is different. When you go into the fucking doctor's office, if all four of y'all go at the same time, y'all all talking to Hey, you need to get your red... Hey, li listen. Hey, you... Let, you need to get red wine and red... You need, red yo, you need to get red wine and red meat. Red wine and red... Hey, you need to get grapes and sell it. Don't, don't... No, you, you, listen. You need to get... Don't... You can't hear what the fuck is going on because you got these motherfuckers in the room with them like that. And even better than that, these motherfuckers don't need to hear what the fuck... So as you're going through life and you fucking failing that shit, now... The doctor, which is life, life is the doctor. Experience is the doctor. You try, life is trying to tell you some shit, whatever like that. But you got these motherfuckers in the room, which, god damn it. Big face podcast. Big face podcast. Stupid bitch. You got these motherfuckers as life is trying to teach you lesson and tell you, hey, you don't need to goddamn be in the street. Hey, you don't need to be in the street. You got this nigga, you got the nigga on side. Man, fuck that shit, man. Don't let that shit discourage you. You just lost the whole goddamn brick and the goddamn dope man gonna be looking for you, man. Fuck that shit. You gotta go harder, bro. Real talk. And understand that these motherfuckers is in the same doctor office trying to figure out what the fuck is wrong with them. Life is dealing with them. How in the fuck is you goddamn listening to a motherfucker because they've been in the doctor's office longer than you? What the fuck does that mean? Do you listen to the motherfucker that's been to the jail 20 fucking times on life fucking advice? He's been in jail 20 fucking times. Maybe that's not the fucking dude to take advice from. Even though, like, it sounds crazy because you can learn. Okay. But I have to get that advice because everybody isn't able to, um, to sift through bullshit and get the gold out of it. You know what I'm saying? Some folks should just stay away from bullshit altogether. But once you become, you know, a, 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 a certified coal miner, now you can find jewels in anything. But until you get to that level, you don't need to just leave the bullshit alone. You know what I'm saying? And just do and, and just stay your course. What works for you will not work for that person. You know what I'm saying? No matter how good a friend y'all are, no matter how much alike y'all are, y'all not built the same. Me and my brother, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? It is fucking different, though. You know what I'm saying? Different. And that's what's going on. Life can't tell you what's going on with you and actually fix you because it's too many motherfuckers talking. So you keep fucking up because you can't see what is actually going on and what the life is trying to teach you. Now, once life it deal with deals with you by yourself. By yourself. And don't let me, so the analogy with a bitch would be now life is trying to teach you something and now your bitch is in the fucking room with you, you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to tell her and you don't want to allow life to deal with you fully because now you're embarrassed to be dealt with in front of her because you probably got a bitch like this that's going to use that life experience against you. Do I need to break that down? Um, You get robbed in the streets, whatever like that. You don't want to go home and tell your bitch what happened with her like that. She hear about it, but you tell her the fake part of it. So now the advice she's giving you is off the fake story you told her. When really the shit went totally different. The nigga ain't had no gun or nothing. He just slapped you and took your fucking dope. But you told her you were 12 niggas with goddamn... Them niggas had chopped and everything. I ain't know what the fuck to do. I had punched one of them fuck niggas out there. But them motherfuckers did. I, I mean, them motherfuckers stood my hand, man. And you had them, I swear God, bro. I'm going to kill all them fuck niggas. So now she's saying, hell yeah, I'm ready to ride. Oh, uh, she, hold on. Uh, they stole the car, too. They stole the car, so we can't ride right now, but uh, I'm going to get them fuck news. You need to go into the doctor's office by yourself. Life has to deal with you alone. And once you go into the doctor's office by yourself, and life deals with you by yourself, and now the life can clearly tell you, Everything. The longer you stay by yourself, the the more you learn about yourself. So now it's like, okay, um, you need to take, you know what I'm saying? 
crazy shit. You need to take all of these extracts to fix your issues. Then after that, you know what I'm saying, take a pregnancy test. Because I think you fucking, you know what I'm saying, I think you might be pregnant and shit like that. Stop drinking fucking sodas and drink water. You know what I mean? Like, life will tell you shit like that. Stop smoking cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? Life, and, 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 and if you listen to what life, you'll get stronger and stronger to where now, when you go out in, in, into the world, whatever like that, and you'll be able to spot people immediately that do not fit inside of your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, you, you ain't. You know, if you don't vape, then I can't, you know what I'm saying, fuck with you, whatever like that. Like, you still smoke cigarettes, what the fuck? Like, you you still eat meat, what the fuck? When, in the beginning, before you went to the doctor, which is you started dealing with life by yourself, um, you didn't know what the fuck was what. You didn't pay attention to what another motherfucker did. You didn't pay attention to what drugs they were doing and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? What, what kind of licks, how they're going in the lick, you know what I'm saying? Because they just that fucking broke. And those are the things that fucking matter. Let's listen to some more. I'm, I'm noticing something, you know, uh, bitch got warns and I'm looking for you, bitch. <laughs> you nothing ass bitch. You still out there whole stealing because, you know what I'm saying, the child support shit ain't work. And this is, you know what I'm saying, like, this is how you budget it. Like, you nothing ass bitch. Like, you budgeted your money off of his money. Do you understand how much of a fucking parasite you have to be? I don't give a fuck what excuse you nothing ass bitch you can come up with. You nothing ass bitch. I guarantee fucking to you that nigga did not want to have no fucking baby with you. He told you to abort the fucking child and you still had the motherfucker. Not because you don't believe in abortion, bitch, because that was your fucking payday. The, you think we don't fucking know how the fuck you having the kids? You were broke. How in the fuck can you... How? All right, so let's make this make sense. I'm broke, I don't have a house, I don't have a car, I don't have anything. I steal for a fucking living. I steal. I already have a kid. I can't afford shit. I'm living off the... And if I told you, I believe that you should have to have a fucking license in order to fucking give birth. The same way you have to have a license to drive a car, uh, get alcohol, get cigarettes. Operate a fucking, you know what I'm saying, a, a, a fucking crane, whatever the fuck. How the fuck don't you have to have a license... To bring forth life to make sure that you're meant, you have the mental wherewithal to fucking bring so that unless, unless they want the least, um, least qualified people to have kids so that their offspring can feed the system, kind of like a train. A coal train, you know, like back in the old days, you watch the cartoons, they putting coal in a train and shit like that, and that's, that's what make it go. Imagine if that coal was black babies, because in the in the train is um, private prisons or just our system in general. Um, it's slavery. It's slavery. The system knows. That if you have a child in these government subsidized houses, then they're going to grow up to be whatever the fuck, they're going to be in whatever gang, you know what I'm saying, that carried like the jungle. That's a blood neighborhood, so the fuck, you know what I'm saying, if you have a child there, the child going to grow up to be a fucking blood, nine times out of fucking ten. Unless they go to the fucking league, or they go to the league, or they become a musician. Big face podcast. Somebody got this fucking number. Somebody pray. Wrong number. Sorry. Have a nice day. Faggot. Um. They trying to throw my thoughts off. 
if you're born in a blood neighborhood, a government subsidized project experiment, then you're going to be that. You're going to be a fucking criminal nine times out of ten. And the few that wiggle out the, the, the roses through the concrete, they might oh, do the right thing and shit like that. But the, most of the people ain't going to listen because the motherfucker that raised them, you don't, you don't allow fathers can't be there. If you want to live for free, you have to get the fucking nigga the fuck out of here. So the only thing that could probably keep the motherfucker from being a criminal, I don't give a fuck about that, that one percent who LeBron James and all these motherfucking success stories are, uh, dear mama. What the fuck, dog? Those are one in a fucking million. And even then, them niggas can't escape the, <clears throat> the coal is the children. The bitch has the kid. The kid then is fed to the system, which keeps the system going. Because then they can tell society, we have to have taxes so that we can keep the criminals off of your streets. Which is why if a nigga is driving in a nice neighborhood, you're going to immediately get pulled over and nobody's going to say a fucking word because that's what the fuck they're supposed to do. But if a white person drives through the hood, they get ultimate respect and they'll be escorted out maybe. They'll be helped. They'll be aided. Or they get pulled over because they're a fucking drug addict. And the people the people who are making all of this possible is this bitch who made a decision that not her child she not she don't give a fuck about that kid because if you did why in the fuck you how can you have a kid and care about it and want to provide you want the kid to have more than you had growing up but you have less than what your mama had and you're having a child you're not a good mother if you have a child and you're broke and you don't have a car and you don't have a house you're a horrible fucking person period if you have a child by someone who tells you, I don't want no fucking kids, you're a horrible fucking person. You're cursing that child. If you have a child by someone who doesn't, show, if he says he wants a child and he doesn't show, a nigga can tell you he want to fuck and you size that nigga up to make sure, hell no. Nah. You laugh at a nigga that stutter. I seen a fucking video just a minute ago, a whole laugh at a nigga because he trying to holler but he's stuttering and shit like that. You size a nigga up real good when you're trying to fuck, but you don't size a nigga up when you're trying to have a fucking child? What you do is, hoes are sizing niggas up. If the hoe want to fuck them, then she'll have a baby by them. Period. Because if you find enough for me to fuck, then hell yeah, the baby's going to be cute. That's the way that you're thinking. If you have a child by someone who has no car, he's living with you and you're giving him money. He's your child. And you brought forth life because he got you pregnant, bitch? You nasty bitch? You stank pussy hoe. Because how in the fuck aren't you going to the doctor the next day or, or taking a pregnancy test and a nigga just shot all up in you? It's just all good? Fuck it. It's all good. See see how irresponsible a bitch is? And this is the hoe that's supposed to raise the child into a successful adult? Are you fucking serious? The street is going to help. This is why all these niggas are joining the game because they're trying to find a family because the mama is out smoking crack, stealing, or looking for another fucking victim. And I don't give a fuck how the fuck you feel. You nothing ass bitch. What I'm saying right now is nothing but the fucking truth. And the proof is these niggas dying in the fucking street, running out of cars because they just shot a nigga. And getting fucking killed. And now we got to go in the street like, what the fuck going on, dog? Stop killing us. But we won't stop. It's not no protest when a nigga kill three. Let's listen here. Y'all gonna talk about me all day. At the end of the day, like I said, it, was, it, it, it shouldn't be no way 
a parent should be their business for their child. Honey, I don't. Don't you love that shit? You look like they jump all the way off subject and they go straight to a fucking parent. He didn't want to be a parent, bitch. You made it with, so ain't no fucking way a parent should be that irresponsible. Ain't no way a parent should be that fucking mean. Ain't no way a parent should be that. Is he a parent or the same? What what did he go through to make him a fucking parent? You made him a fucking parent. When when you asked him if you if you didn't you didn't fucking ask him because he told you no. When you forced him to be a parent, he didn't want to fucking be a responsible motherfucker. He didn't want to be a nice motherfucker. You attempted to change him. You attempted to change, you attempted to raise a fucking man. You attempted to turn a boy, he seen you was a fucking boy. Nigga childish, nigga showing you he childish in the street just fucking off. Why the fuck would you bring forth life with this motherfucker? You think he gonna straighten up because you fucking said so? Bitches, listen to this. When's the last time a nigga did what the fuck you told? You can't even get this nigga to stop cheating on you. How the fuck is you gonna get him to do be a fucking fuck? That's the hardest thing you got. The hardest thing in life to do is to be a fucking parent. Any real parent will tell you that. The hardest thing to do in life is to be a fucking parent. Cause y'all ain't listening. If you on tour from Thursday through Sunday, you should you supposed to make time. Bitch, you supposed to not steal out of the store. Fuck what you talking about. Yo baby mama dog, fuck that. The bitch that you with right now, have you not? I'm gonna do a video on. It. I've been I've been procrastinating. I'm so sorry. The video is gonna be. <laughs> she gonna turn into a bad bitch as soon as she get pregnant. She's gonna turn into a bad bitch as soon as she get pregnant. That's the title of the video. Dog, do you see these fucking videos of how these how evil these hoes are once they got a nigga? Because now they have white daddy on their side. Now white daddy is backing them. So in it, so not only uh like do they got you by the nuts because they can say that you hit them because you already a criminal. And they know that the law won't believe them. And they know this shit. They know it. They know it. Don't get me started on that bullshit where a hoe can say to the goddamn police. And just have police believe in that shit, dog. Not only can she tell them that you hit her. But now she can just fuck you all the way over with your visitation all this shit. Now you got to call the police on her like, she ain't let me see my baby. That's not, that's not what men do. Men don't call nobody about the, they handle their issues. But because she got you by the nuts, now you got to pay. And if you don't show interest in the child, she do you like this. If you're a parent, you're supposed to make time. But as soon as you make time, this whole going to make sure she do a whole inspection on your car. Making sure that the goddamn, the uh, the baby seat is up to date. She gonna find every fucking reason to hold your shit up. She gonna give you parameters because now she the boss. Finally, she's in control. When you are a free man, you are in control. And understand, my nigga, if you are a free man right now, that bitch on side of you right now, dog. She just motherfucking waiting until she can grab you by the motherfucking nuts. Because she don't like that. She don't like the fact that you can roam free and do what the fuck you want and she can't punish you. She don't like the fact that she got a, that she don't have no way to implement her feelings onto you. You willy-nilly. Please understand, 
Watch. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. All of these fucking bitches that you see, all these, just watch the videos. They were a couple before that child came. Do you think that nigga would put up with that bitch if she act like the way she's acting now with the child? She turned into a monster after having a child. That's what you would think. But really, she was hiding who she was the whole time until she had a lock. She allowed you to move around and play around and do everything to make it real comfortable right here. She would just call, woo, woo, come on in. Anytime you're ready, come the fuck on in. She gonna play them games in the bedroom the whole time she thinking, this is how conniving a hoe is, dog. She wanted to be this evil bitch that she is now as a baby mama the whole time. But she knew if she did that, she would run you away. So she hid who she was for however long. Some hoes get tired and go to a, a softer nigga and shit like that. Like, this is too hard of a target. But some hoes, they like them hard targets. Because that makes the, the baby mama stage even more sweet. Yeah, nigga, you remember how fucking on you was then? Yeah, nigga. Yeah, nigga. It's me now. You can't see the baby. No. It's me now. This my shit now. And if that shit right there don't work, if that shit right there don't work, then you get a situation like this to where I need to destroy. If you don't give me, if I don't get my revenge, if you don't want to see the baby, now I'm going to try to expose you. He don't never see his baby. All oh, my baby crying. He told my baby, she'll be calling you like, you don't want to see the baby? She'll be calling you. But as soon as you show interest, she don't pick up the phone. Or she can't have that phone. It's all revenge. I need you to feel how bad I felt. Instead of a bitch going to find someone who would treat her like she wants to be treated, she's going to take, accept all those punches, all those punches. She thinks that she's God. She thinks that she's the universe. She's the one who... Uh, She's the one that karma goes through her. I am karma. I am the world. I am God. You going to reap what the fuck you sow. It stops with me. It starts and stops with me. I'm the Alpha and, and Omega. Ain't that what the fuck it is? Because like now, I don't want to just leave where it could be easy. Let me go find somebody that I can live my life with. Fuck no. Punish me, punish me, punish me. I'm going to take all of it, but I'm going to give you it all back. Is that not what your baby mama is like? Shout out to my nigga, Darren Holloway. Um, and I, I made a mistake with his brain. I, I told everybody in Florida to make sure they go out there and, uh, and ask him for a job. Um, that, that was wrong. What he has is a... Branding company is called Legal Money Tees, and he had the T-shirts. And this, this is one of the most intelligent men that I've spoken to. Um, as he was telling me about uh, his outlook on on the black woman, um, y'all make sure that y'all go get his T-shirts. Make sure that you get his fucking T-shirts, whatever like that. His, uh, I'm gonna put his um, all his information down in the uh, description box, whatever like that. Get a t-shirt from this man. Uh, Darren, I need my t-shirt, big homie. I want to wear that t-shirt. Darren told me um, that because of how the black woman has been beat down, you need to, you know, uh, address her as queen because she's beat down so much. I want to talk to you queens for a second if, I have, if, if, I, if, I, if you have a little time on your hands. You're a queen, not a god. If the man that you are presently with will not treat you as a queen, 
You shouldn't get enraged and look at yourself as a god and say that I am going to, I'm going to inflict pain on him the same way he did me. As a queen, you let go of the peasant and go find a king. As a queen, let go of the peasant or even the prince or the, the court jester and go find a king. Because if he doesn't see that you're a queen, he never will. And the and the and the lesson is lost. The lesson that you and why curse the prince or the the princess that comes out of you with a peasant or a jester or a fucking prince? I say a jester or a fucking peasant. Why curse them with that as a father? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try to look at you as a queen. This bitch represents the majority of fucking black women that we're dealing with right now, my nigga. You have a bitch on side of you. You are dealing with a bitch just like this that is laying in wait. She is so... You don't understand how much she's cried. You don't understand... The level that she's willing to go to, whether it be putting her period blood in the biscuit, uh, the spaghetti, uh, the spaghetti, burying a pitcher in the backyard, and all that voodoo shit that bitches do, even to the point where she's thinking of killing you, but she has to come back to her senses and say, I, "I got a way I can get him. I can hit him with a rape charge and shout out to my brother. We finna get this shit taken care of because it's a bitch." That then try to throw a goddamn rape charge on my fucking brother, and that bitch finna get an issue too. I'm finna put her face all over this motherfucker, and everybody gonna see it. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all won't understand this whole situation. These bitches are going for blood out here. That bitch on side of you has a lot of fucking rage pent up in her, and some niggas ain't got away. Maybe she couldn't get pregnant. Know what I'm saying? She couldn't trap the last nigga. You just don't understand. She can't show you who the fuck she really is. You don't know what the fuck she's doing when you don't answer the phone. When you don't come home at night and shit like that. When you don't do what the fuck she want to do. Go to the movies and shit like that. You don't understand how dominant that recessive bitch is. That bitch don't want to ask you to go out. That bitch wants to tell you we going out. But she can't do it because she knows it's going to run you the fuck off. Ask any nigga about how his baby mama acted before she got pregnant. And that nigga will tell you she was a whole different individual. I might do a part two to this video. Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Canseco. Make sure I hit the PayPal. We're going to talk about this.